Hey everyone, this is Adder, a volunteer for Siri Mangalo International. I'm here today to share uh, some updates on our community, our meditation center, and our uh, fundraising project. Uh, in the past year or so, during the time of uh, the pandemic, our uh, online community has really been growing and thriving. Uh, so I encourage you all to check out uh, our Discord community, our community of meditators on Meditation Plus, uh, and as well as tune in for the, um, the Q&A sessions on YouTube, broadcasted live by Vante Yutadamo. Uh, we have a bunch of people taking our at-home course. This is an online-based course uh, in which one uh, meets with a teacher regularly and does meditation at home in their in their daily life. Um, so I encourage people to check check out our communities and um, and stay active in in the Siramangalo community. Our uh, meditation center in Niagara uh, we have shut down for a long time. We had Bante staying there with pretty much no meditators. Uh, as people hadn't been able to come in during the pandemic. And as the uh, traditional rain season approaches, these next few months in which uh, Buddhist monks are uh, required to stay under one house, uh, Bhante has decided to move and stay at uh, Wat Khmai Krom uh, Stony Creek, which is a Cambodian Buddhist monastery and temple. Uh, in, in Hamilton, in the Hamilton area of Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, so that's where Bonte will be for the next few months, and we've, we've closed down the center uh, in Niagara. We're no longer renting that space. And as we have been for some time, we've, we're thinking about our next, next step. Um, so at the, the current place that Bonte is staying, we are not able to take meditators at this time. Uh, in general, we're not really able to be functioning because Canada's borders remain closed at the time of recording. Um, they've been slower than some countries to roll out the vaccine. Uh, and so uh, at this point, we're still unable to accept meditators. Uh, the good news is that Bhante Yutadamo is vaccinated now. Uh, and we are looking for ways that, that he can resume uh, live teaching. We aren't sure what the next step will be uh, this fall after the rain season is over. We are certainly looking into establishing our permanent meditation center, but it looks like that may not be our next step. We may have to return to renting a space again as we continue to, to raise funds and, and look into options. Um, you know, the housing market is difficult right now and it's, uh, it's hard to find exactly what we need to, to suit our needs. Um, so. We will do our best to keep uh, updated on the, uh, the center shifting as time goes on. And you know, I encourage you all to, uh, to again, jump into our online communities to, to stay up to date. Uh, our meditation center fundraiser is continuing to move along smoothly. We are at uh, just past $78,000 raised, dedicated to the establishment of a permanent meditation center. And we will be continuing to do some updates and, and discussions of members of our community uh, and hope to continue to work on this, this project, this community goal of ours uh, as, as time goes on. So if there's any uh, way that you're interested in being supportive or have any questions about this project, uh, as usual, I encourage you to reach out. We're, um, as always, very, very grateful and appreciative of all of the generosity we've seen towards this project. Um, it's really been a wonderful community building experience. I think that is all I have for you today. Uh, again, feel free to reach out and join our online communities if you have any questions. Uh, and I hope to, to stay in touch. Thank you, may you all be well, happy, healthy, healthy, peaceful. Take care.